So today I bring you a quick video on the latest news surrounding Borderlands 3 including Gearbox confirming anointed loot drops, increased anointed loot drops will stay, more previews of new cosmetics and new spooky surprise information. How's it going guys my name is DPJ and I'd like to thank you for stopping by and checking out my video. If you do enjoy it leaving a like really helps out and subscribe if you want to see more Borderlands. Ok so last night Gearbox tweeted out the following. This week, during the Borderlands Anniversary event, specific mayhem modifiers with weapon penalties were reduced and there was an increased chance for anointed gear to drop. We've been listening and will not be reverting back to their previous values tomorrow, which would be later today people. So this is actually great news, it means you have further time to get all the gear you want anointed, and Mayhem won't be as crazy as it once was for an extended period of time. Now how long this will continue I ain't quite sure, but as soon as further details do drop I have you guys covered. But yeah, increased anointed drops are staying for now. Ok so later today we get the week 5 celebrational event of Spooky Surprise. Exactly what this event is at the moment we don't really know. But later today we get another stream on behalf of Gearbox which will reveal more to come including what the Spooky Surprise event will consist of and the next 3 DLC content for the game coming in December. So from 2K's website, this is what they state. Don't miss the second episode of the Borderlands show, featuring a spooky surprise and a first look at the upcoming Borderlands 3 takedown. In case you haven't heard, the Free Bloody Harvest event is currently live in Borderlands 3, but if you've taken some particular harrowing trips through Heck and Fick, you'll need a breather soon. We've got just a thing, the second episode of the Borderlands show, our monthly web series hosted by Kinda Funnies, Gregs Miller and Fran Mirabella. This will air on Tuesday, October 29th and it's bringing some big announcements with it. The Borderlands show is a chance to chat about all things Borderlands. Episode 2's developer guest is Gearbox's managing producer and narrative, Randy Vernal who's ready to discuss Borderlands 3's story in depth and answer questions from players like you. There will be spoiler warnings for anyone tuning in, but it'd be a good idea to wrap up the story campaign if you haven't already before Greg, Fran and Randy delve into all kinds of major plot points and deep lore discussions. The Borderlands show episode 2 will air on the official Borderlands Twitch channel starting October 29th at 10am PDT. This will be 1pm EDT, 6pm BST and it will be October 30th 1am GMT plus 8 and 3am AEST. This guys for UK folks out there will be 5pm on the 29th later today. Following Bloody Harvest the next big piece of free content being added to the game is Takedown at Maliwan's Black Site, which we first teased at PAX West. Tune in to the Borderlands show episode 2 for an early look at some of its ultra difficult end game encounters. But wait there's more. The big finale of the Borderlands anniversary celebration marking 10 years of Borderlands is a spooky surprise we've been teasing for weeks and we're finally unveiling it during the Borderlands show. Without giving anything away you'll definitely want to tune in to get the shift code needed to redeem the spooky surprise for yourself. You won't want to miss the Borderlands show episode 2 especially if you like getting free stuff and first looks at new content. We'll see you there on October 29th at 10am PDT. Now links to where you can check this out will be within the video description both YouTube and Twitch. And like I said UK folks out there this is 5pm as we are no longer in a British summer time. Now the shift codes they speak of I think may be the new skins we have seen a few content creators tweet out. This image from Jolts showcases skins for each Vault Hunter and these have been confirmed to be coming very soon indeed. So that's pretty cool, now a better look at these skins can be seen on screen, now it's hard to make them out from the initial pick as the background swallows all their beauty. The Amaro Helm looks a lot like the Helm of Saint 14 Helmet from Destiny 2 for the Scumbag Titans. But yeah people, I will be watching the stream, I will bring you all the details you won't want to miss, so stay tuned for that later today on my channel. So yes, increased anointed loot drops continue, spooky surprise coming soon with details of it later. I probably reckon this will probably start when the stream starts or during the stream. We also will be getting new cosmetics as well, so pretty damn cool times ahead. And that is it for another video, just wanted to make a quick one covering the latest news. 
But on that note, we have come to the end. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video or upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.